For finishing uh, the signature, I use this kind of acrylic pen. Um, I paint with white on the black because it uh, gives a little shadow. I think this looks pretty nice. And uh, with this pen, I also uh, give a little bit more intense white to the um, reflection spots. Although I don't like the tip of this pen because it's not fine enough, not as fine as the the brush I use. <clears throat> so, but to intense the white, I give a little bit of white onto the reflection spots. Finally, I prefer the brush because it's such a very fine tip, so I can can use it better than um, the pen. <laughs> if you see my fingers, they also get some color. Um, yes, this is like we artists are. We try to keep everything clean, but at the end, the color is everywhere. So maybe you saw the Q-tip for me is a very important material to correct. Um, I use it very often for painting the stones. And I guess that's the secret also to get this really soft shadows. And yeah, well, one of my loved materials. I'm still not happy with the reflection spots here. It's not in the right curve and not long enough. And so you can um, spend a lot of time with this little, 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 tiny, tiny details. But um, I guess sometimes it's, it's the thing I don't want to finish it. <laughs> I identify myself with this uh, stone and then I don't want to let it go. So there's always a tiny little bit you can do more but you also can stop it. <laughs> still needs a little bit of black here um, on this um, drop because the white is too dominant so I want to have a little bit more contrast so a tiny little bit of black as well. Now it's time to warnish it. Yeah? I use a semi matte satin, satin varnish, it's called, from uh, Sennelier. And let it dry. close up from the finished stone. It's not my best stone with water drops. Comparable here is a very good one. Thanks for watching.